The gaming laptops industry has gone pretty far over the years, and if you have been saving up some cash for a new setup, you have come to the right place. We've sifted through all the corners of the market in search for the best budget gaming laptops in 2020, and we've come up with the following list. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get started. The lowest price point category within the budget section of the gaming laptops market is right under $500. Let's be completely frank, you shouldn't expect a great deal from laptops as cheap as this, but with a bit of luck, you might end up with a quality model such as Acer Aspire 5. In fact, this model is much cheaper than it should be. Its specs and features are stronger than some mid-priced gaming laptops, so the only reason why it has such an attractive price tag might be that it's selling pretty well and pretty fast. Let's start off with its CPU. The central processing unit of Acer's Aspire 5 is the Intel i5-8250U. This processor can reach 3.4 GHz with the overclocking feature, which should be enough for most online competitive and certainly most single-player games that were released up to 2015-2016. Sadly, it lacks the power to run more recent games, even at the lowest settings. Acer's Aspire 5 features NVIDIA's MX150 that rocks 2GB of GDDR5 virtual RAM memory. This is a slightly outdated GPU that, much is a given, but it complements the i5's performance well. Again, rendering graphics from games as advanced as The Witcher 3 or Fallout 4, for example, will probably not be possible with it. On the bright side, you will be able to play pretty much any MOBA or FPS game that premiered a couple of years ago. Memory-wise, Acer's Aspire 5 rocks 8GB of DDR4 RAM, which is fairly surprising for a rock-bottom priced gaming laptop. For this price, you shouldn't be surprised to see setups with 4 or even 2GB of DDR3. We're a bit at odds whether 256GB of SSD is a good thing or a bad thing. Truth be told, a solid state drive equipped on a budget laptop is always a plus. However, gamers need quite a bit of storage space, and 256GB will probably allow you to have 2-3 to three games to play at a time. As far as connectivity goes, this gaming laptop features a single USB 3.1 Type-C port, a single USB 3.0 port, and two USB 2.0 ports, as well as a single HDMI port. That's pretty basic for an average laptop, but it's superb for a low-cost one. Given the fact that most laptops under $500 can hardly pass on for gaming models, Acer's Aspire 5 does one hell of a job. Its specs and features are much stronger than you'd bargain for, which is one of the many reasons why we've opened up our review with it. Our second pick is the best gaming laptop under $1,000, the MSI GF63 Thin Laptop. This model is substantially stronger in comparison to our previous pick, and it's easily one of the most feature-packed laptops in the price range. It sports a 15.6-inch Full HD display with the aspect ratio of 16 to 9 and an RGB-lit keyboard fit for a professional gamer. Among its core features, we include NVIDIA's GTX 1050 Ti 4GB GDDR5 graphics card, Intel's i7-9750H 6-core central processing unit, and 8GB of DDR4 random access memory with two additional upgrade sockets. What separates GF63 from most budget gaming laptops is the Intel i7-9750H, a 6-core 2.6GHz processor. With it, you'll be able to launch most games that were released in 2018 and probably some that followed a year after. Since it's the most expensive component of this setup, it performs wonderfully for the money. Next up is the GPU. NVIDIA's graphics cards are easily among the most popular ones on the market, and GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, though slightly obsolete, is still relevant to this day. It sports 4GB of dedicated VRAM, which means that it's perfect for light-duty gaming, although it's not perfectly suited for spec-starved games like GTA V, Hunt Showdown, or the currently hottest Call of Duty Warzone. 8GB of DDR4 RAM are sufficient for most games, if you don't mind playing at the lowest quality settings. Luckily, there are two more sockets for future upgrades, should you need them. Storage-wise, you'll get 256GB of SSD, your operating system will eat up a good portion of it, so you'll have enough space for only a couple of games left. 
On the brighter side, your laptop will turn on almost instantly when you press the power up button. In all fairness, Intel's i7 CPU is largely responsible for the quality of this gaming configuration. The GTX 1050 Ti is excellent too, but RAM and storage leave plenty of room for improvement. All things considered, you'll have a terribly hard time finding better specs in this price range. Another Acer model has found its way in our review of the best gaming laptops, and this time around, it's the Nitro 5. It's not drastically different from Aspire 5, but it does offer a better widescreen performance. Essentially, this laptop rocks a 15.6-inch Full HD 1920x1080p display and supports up to 16 to 9 widescreen ratios. It can't really compare to modern 4K monitors, but it's exceptionally great for the buck. The Acer Nitro 5 rocks NVIDIA's GTX 1050 Ti graphics card with 4GB of dedicated GDDR5 VRAM. It's slightly stronger than the one supplied to Aspire 5, but the changes are subtle and minor at best. It features a strong Intel i7-9750H that can reach up to 4.5GHz with the overclocking feature, making sure you have proper cooling, though as overclocked processors tend to heat up incredibly fast, often leading to game crashes and similar bugs. Luckily for you, this laptop features two fans, four exhausts, and seven pipes. It's an older cooling system, but it does the job quite well. Nitro 5 sports 8GB of DDR4 RAM, which is quite great for a budget gaming laptop. What we really did like about this model is that it sports two additional RAM sockets that you can use to upgrade to 64GB. In terms of storage, this laptop rocks 256GB of SSD, which means there's less space for games and rapid OS startup times. What we really liked about this gaming laptop is that it also features a pre-installed Windows 10 operating system. You'll be set and ready to install your favorite games as soon as Nitro 5 arrives at your doorstep. Last but not least, this laptop also sports 8.5 hours of total battery lifespan. Given the fact that there are budget laptops that can last for more than 10 hours, this might feel a bit underwhelming. However, the battery recharges faster than average and you still have a good chunk of the day to game away. The mid-range of the budget price point category is just between $500 and $1,000, which means that you should be expecting a laptop that performs better than Acer's Aspire 5 and slightly worse than MSI's GF63. HP's Pavilion Gaming 15 laptop fits the description perfectly. This laptop sports a 15.6-inch Full HD display that is complemented with micro-edge anti-glare technology and 144Hz refresh rate. It's obviously better than an average 15.6 inch display in terms of that your eyes will fatigue substantially less as you spend hours and hours hacking and slashing your virtual foes. This laptop sports 8th generation of Intel's i5-8300H processor. This is a quad-core CPU with 2.3GHz of raw strength that can reach up to 4GHz with the overclocking feature. It's not a powerhouse, but it's certainly not weak as per gamer standards, but since this is a budget laptop, it's actually quite a beast. It sports 8GB of DDR4 RAM, which is quite common for this price range, but what we didn't particularly like is the fact that it doesn't feature any upgrade socket slots. If you're fine being stuck with 8GB of random access memory, you should probably take this laptop into consideration. This is the first gaming laptop in our review that doesn't feature an SSD. It sports a 1TB HDD. On the bright side, you'll have more than enough space for all of your games. On the downside, your laptop will take some time starting up. The total battery lifespan of HP's Pavilion is slightly above 8 hours, but the battery isn't exactly consistent. Namely, it will last less than 8 hours when used for video playback, gaming included, and a mere 5 hours for wireless streaming. In a nutshell, the Pavilion offers different specs and features than what you'd normally find in this price range. It values quantity over quality in terms of storage. Its CPU and GPU are fairly strong, and its RAM is decent, but not upgradable. Our final pick of the day is Acer's Predator Helios 300. This particular model was the best gaming laptop of 2018 when it was released. It was heavily contested and came on top the year after, and even in 2020, it's among the strongest laptops in the budget section of the gaming laptops market. It sports 7th generation of Intel's i7 2.8GHz CPU that can reach 3.8GHz with overclocking. It comes with a pre-installed Windows 10 64-bit OS NVIDIA's GTX 1060 with 6GB of 
GDDR5 VRAM and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. In short, it's substantially stronger than any of the models we've covered so far. The Predator Helios 300 packs a 15.6-inch Full HD widescreen display and a red RGB backlit keyboard, both of which are fantastic for gaming. It also rocks 256GB of SSD, but you'll also benefit from an empty HDD slot for future upgrades. The only downside of this laptop is that it offers only 7 hours of battery lifespan, but other than that, it's basically a no-brainer. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.